Hello, I have three videos I'm going to be filming today, so bye -bye. The first is a review of Two Brother Dozen. This one was released in 2003. I have the original one. I like the original one, but I saw this one first, and it's not at all like a remake, though. It's just um, a movie <laughs> based on the concept of it, but it's not really a remake at all. Um, but, it, but I like this one because it's like, in the original one, the kids are a little, uh, you know, perfect and everything. This one, they're crazy and I love it. I love it when they just are losing their mind and doing stuff that they really shouldn't be doing and it's just a lot of fun and like people criticize it and they're like well you know they don't their kids get away with a lot but the thing is that the director was like wanting them just the kids just to have a free-for-all in the movie just like you know think of everything that kids aren't really supposed to do he was like just let them do it because the kids in the movie, in real life, would never, ever, ever get away with any of the stuff that they do in this movie. Um, but it was just, um, you know, let them do everything you're not allowed to do at home, but do it on a movie set. So, um, and they just had a lot of fun with it. And um, Steve Martin and Bonnie Hunt are wonderful together. I absolutely love their chemistry. I wish she did more movies together because honestly I just love them together and they just had like flawless chemistry. I, don't, I think they've been friends for a while so that's probably why but they just were so cute together. Um, Ashton Kutcher, I forgot, is also um, in this. He plays uh, the boyfriend of Nora. Here. I hate Nora uh, but I don't like her at all. But uh, yeah, she did, yeah, I think she's a character they ignore. And he's a model flash actor. And um, there's a line in this. There's two fraternal twins, and then there's two identical twins. But the thing is, is that the fraternal twins in the movie, the actors not related to each other at all. Um, so yeah. But anyway. um, their mom, Paley Bonnie Hunt, wrote a book, and she has to go on a book tour. And Steve Martin's character got his gym coaching job, but it's like really far away from them, and he's not, he's not really home as much as he he used to be. And so, but when Bonnie's character gets the opportunity to do her book tour, he goes, "Oh, I'll, I'll be okay. You can go and do this." And she was like, "Okay." So um, there's a <laughs> there's a part where uh, Nora's gonna come over. And with Hank, her boyfriend, and one of the twins says, now we have to take orders from Hank, the model flash actor. And I love that line so much. I think it was so funny. Like, the way she delivered it, it was hilarious. But to me, anyway. Um, my favorite line in the movie is that line. The model flash actor? I like that she says that, by the way. <laughs> but, um, I was talking about Allison Stoner. Um, she plays Sarah. I've seen this so many times and I don't remember half their names. There's 12 kids, you know. <laughs> um, but the little boys in this, they're, they're five years old. I can't really see them, but they're right at the top. They were five years old when they did this. And now they're teenagers. And I'm like, what? They were discovered on this movie, and then they did uh, Desperate Housewives. So. Their, um, the casting director said he went out to, like, they had all these five-year-old twins for the audition. And he said all these kids were being so perfect, their hair was done, their clothes were really nice. And then they saw the two of them, the two twin boys that they, they got fighting in the in the line 
And then they were like, we want them because they seem, they acted like five-year-old twins. So, huh. Um, and there was, was a lot of time in the movie where they thought fighting and the director was just like, keep it in, you know, keep it on camera because it was, it was what brothers would do, especially twin brothers. Um, the director said that there would be time where like they would just be sitting there quietly and all of a sudden there was just like a they punch each other. <laughs> so, the bloopers are really funny and they're really cute. And the bloopers. <laughs> um, this is a movie that they all will look back on and be like, oh my god, we had so much fun. We got to do so much in the movie. And it was just a lot of fun. I don't like Nora at all. Like, I think she was a very selfish person my opinion because there's a part where she comes over when their mom got home and like her, her dad stress level is like through the roof and she gets mad because he doesn't have time to talk to her and I'm just like could help him you know <laughs> whatever um so yeah I recommend it obviously if I had a five stars for me I know it's probably a little high for some people to love it so much okay so um that's all Goodbye.